as Casey Delacqua prepares to take on Canada's Eugenie Bouchard in the fourth round of the Australian Open on Sunday. Let us take a trip back down memory lane and relive her magic run to the same stage way back in 2008. Entering these championships six years ago, Delacqua had yet to win a match at Melbourne Park and had endured five straight opening round exits, including in 2006 when she was on the wrong end of a masterclass from then world number one Lindsay Davenport, for which she was criticized for not just her performance, but also her weight. She had also entered the Australian Open with only one Grand Slam match victory, that coming against Yaroslavish Dova at the 2007 US Open. But a change in her attitude towards the game, as well as a change in the surface from the notorious rebound ace to the nuple execution which remains to this day, would set the precedence for one of the big magical runs by an Australian woman in recent living memory, one which would 12 months later be rivaled by Jelena Dokic. First up was Italia as Karen Knapp, who had made her Grand Slam debut at the French Open in the previous year, reaching the third round. After dropping the first set 6-4, it appeared as if Delacqua was headed for a sixth straight Australian Open first round defeat, but she would pull herself out of trouble, win the second set 6-3 and then take the match in a marathon final set, which lasted 14 games. That would see Delacqua win not only her first match at the Australian Open, but also her second Grand Slam match overall. Next up was Patty Schneider, the 15th seed who had reached the semi-finals in 2004, losing to Kim Kleisters. Again, she had to come from a set down to win this match and again the final set required 14 games. And as it was in the opening round, Delacqua would hold her nerve to move into the third round of a Grand Slam for the first time. Her next match was to be none other than against Amelie Marsmo, whose form was in the midst of a decline which would eventually lead to her retirement at the end of 2009. Such was the enormity of this match involving an Australian at the Open for quite a while, that the match was scheduled from under the bright lights of Rod Laver Arena. What would unfold would be the most courageous performance by an Australian woman in three years, as Delacqua sent the 2006 champion packing, again requiring three sets to do it. It was after that victory in which she would earn nationwide fame and win the hearts of long-suffering Australian tennis fans. Our previous, and currently, best player, Samantha Snowser, had been struck down by a serious disease which would cause her ranking to drop beyond the top 150. The victory over Marismo would then set up a fourth round showdown against world number three Jelena Jankovic, who was at the peak of her powers but has since declined, only to climb back into the world as top ten by the end of last year. Could the Aussie pull it off again, or would Jankovic as class prove too much? Once again, Delacqua was slow to get out of the blocks in the first set. At one stage, she appeared headed for a first set hiding at 2-5 down but the fight that she had shown in her opening three matches resurfaced and she forced a tiebreak, only to lose at 7-3. But in the end, it was the Serbiana as experience that told, as Jankovic eventually ran away with the match in straight sets, ending the dream run of Casey Delacqua and her wide legion of fans that had followed her unexpected run. In the ensuing years since, Delacqua has failed to live up to the same heights and a slew of serious injuries have resulted in her ranking dropping beyond the top 300. But flash forward six years later and Delacqua is back in the fourth round of the Australian Open and for only the second time at any Grand Slam tournament. She will enter her match against 30th seed Eugenie Bouchard as the last remaining Australian in either the Mina S or Woman S singles draw after Samantha Stoser was knocked out by Anna Ivanovic in three sets on Friday night. However, unlike that magical run in 2008, where she got to the fourth round by winning three consecutive three-setters, this year she had it all too easy, winning all of her matches in straight sets and dropping just 13 games en route, all against the opponents who have reached at least one Grand Slam semi-final. Her run has so far included defeating forgotten Russian Veras Venereva for the loss of just four games, a 6-3. 6-0 thrashing of Wimbledon semi-finalist Kirsten Flipkins and a confident 6-2, 6-4 win over Zheng Ji, the same woman who knocked Stoser out of the Australian Open 12 months ago. It will be a special occasion for not just Delacqua, but also her Canadian opponent, who will be making her Rod Labour Arena debut on Sunday night. It will also mark a historical milestone for both players, as one of them will make their first ever Grand Slam quarter-final. The match will also bring together two very passionate fan bases in tennis a circumflex Delacqua will be supported by Hernan and her partner, while Bouchard will have the Genie Army right behind her. The Canadian has made rapid progress throughout the last 12 months, increasing her world ranking by more than 120 places and is guaranteed to debut in the top 25, if not the top 30, by the end of the Australian Open.
Her fans have also followed her rapid rise up the ranks and as a tribute to how popular she is back home, they even serenaded her by singing the Canadian national anthem following her second round win over Virginia Razzano. On paper, it will be extremely difficult to split the players, but it will be Bouchard who enters this match seeded and guaranteed to further climb higher up the rankings. She also has the chance to potentially enter her first Grand Slam quarterfinal, very likely to be against world number one in hot tournament favorite Serena Williams. It could provide the chance for the young Canadian to emulate what Sloane Stevens did last year, and that is to potentially cause an upset in the quarterfinals and go deep, as was the case in 2013 when Stevens sent Williams crashing out before losing to the eventual champion, Victoria Azarenka, in the semi-finals. For Delacqua, the Australian will have nothing to lose, but regardless of the result she is guaranteed to return to the world as top 100 at the conclusion of the Australian Open, having lost in the first round last year.